Well, welcome back. And I'm working on a new piece today. This is for a collector who saw this painting in Santa Fe and it had already sold. It was one of the paintings for my show out there this past Labor Day. So they asked if I'd paint it for them. They're having their 31st anniversary and they said that the painting just caught their vision of Santa Fe. In fact, that's, I thought, what a great name, Vision of Santa Fe. So that's what I'm going to call this painting, or what I am calling this painting. And so now I've painted the background. The background is mixes of phthalo blue plus a little bit of cadmium orange plus mostly white. And I've made about four different variations of that uh, mixture to give me different little uh, shades of that color. But that green then will make the red of our door appear brighter. And this, the perspective will be a little bit skewed because I have to take this video at an angle. I can't get it directly behind me or you wouldn't see the painting. So I'm using here a mixture of cadmium red deep plus alizarin crimson. And this makes a nice deep red. And red is the complementary color of green, so by placing the two next to each other, the red will appear brighter. And this door is, has willow twigs in the opening into the courtyard. I guess we're actually we're in the courtyard, yeah, so the opening out of the courtyard. Out to the street. Well, I guess it depends on how you look at it. It could be coming in. This could be outside the courtyard, too, going out. However, that's up to the viewer, however they want to see it. However they want to see it. So the sunlight now is hitting the door down here. This is a mixture of, this is actually just pure cadmium red light. talking and I brought my shadow down too far on that side but I can paint over it. Now on this right side the sunlight is coming in from the upper right so the right side of the door is going to be in the shadow of this wall that's sticking out here. So this side will be in shadow and I'm bracing my resting my wrist on the mall stick this is actually made for taking clothes off of a high clothes rack in a, in a clothing store. We bought that at the container store years ago. I think we bought that in 1999. I imagine if you went to containerstore.com, they're still available. And it hooks over the top of my easel, and then I can just rest my wrist on this and pull a straight line. I just pull this straight line down. I paint the light and dark pattern first on the door. Then I'll come back in and add the little boards on this lower part of the board and then the door handle. And the shadow, this upper part right there casts that board comes out a little bit, so it casts a shadow onto that lower panel. And we'll let our ecstatic shadow extend over a little bit. And since this board is raised out higher from the surface, the light hits it before it does down here. So this shadow doesn't come over as far as it does on that panel that's recessed a little bit. I had yellow Coreopsis there in front of the door. And I've found when I do paintings with red doors and yellow flowers, people just really like those. This is another example of that. The people saw it in the gallery, it had already sold, and so they came back and Daryl at our Santa Fe Art Collector Gallery in Santa Fe 
he told me, he said, well, if you like that painting, Mickey can paint you one very similar. And they said, oh, we would love that. So, and they've been very patient, waiting. Uh, they've had to wait a few months, several months, because I've just been so fortunate and blessed as an artist that I've been very, very busy with commissions. And they've been wonderful. Just very, very wonderful and patient. And I just have fabulous collectors. Okay, now I'm going to be painting the sunlit portion of the door with the cadmium red light. And this is a bright red. It, it almost goes to the red orange. It just is perfect for highlighting these red doors. It makes a very happy door. And so that with that green, that soft green behind there, this red even appears brighter. And I clean my brush with tissue the secret to nice, clean, crisp painting on your, or clean, crisp colors on your painting is a clean paintbrush. So I wipe that pretty often. I'm going to pull these brush strokes this way since that door goes, that board goes that way. Now we're going to make the willow twigs. that are in the, the opening of that window. And I just take a smaller brush, and I don't make these straight because willow twigs are curved and twisted, and that's part of their charm. That's one of the, you really see this a lot in south, the Southwest architecture, Santa Fe, Taos, Albuquerque, Las Cruces, New Mexico, all those areas, They this, these willow twig Furniture and doors are just, you see them everywhere and I think they're delightful. So you can just let the lines go any way you want. And I make all of the twigs with this darker color first, my darker red. And I don't want them all to curve the same way, so I Make sure that they're not identical. That one has a little just twig coming off of it. And I just drag these over that red, wet paint of the background. But I have to clean my brush pretty often because it picks up that green and I don't want it just to muddy, muddy my color. So I keep wiping my brush. Here's our last one. Come back over. Now the top of this lower board catches the sunlight a little bit, so bracing on the mall stick, I just come and can make a highlight there. I've got to come back. There's a couple places where that green came over the red. I just need to fix those. And then I just continue this highlight over. But this is darker. This will be darker. It's the cadmium red light pulled into that darker red, and so that darkens that. Now on our little willow twigs, we're going to have a little light catching them. And I just come back with the cadmium red light and just pull over. Just highlights those a little bit. That sun catches them. And 
this one will catch just a little bit of light right there. The others are in shadow, so they won't catch that, that light. Just a little bit more here. Now these boards, this panel, lower panel, the recessed panel, is made up of individual boards. So what I'm doing, first of all, I need to make the edge of that board going down on the side, the side of the door here. And this I've just mixed a little bit of my mud, which is ultramarine blue plus alizarin crimson, into the red. And this will make my side edge of the edge of this upper board it's the side of the door and now I make those individual panels let's see that's not quite even so there come back over and paint that It doesn't matter if those lines are not entirely straight. These are old doors and so they warp and twist with age. And those boards probably weren't totally equal to begin with. So now I'm going to come back and just paint over my little dots that I put there to determine the sides of the, the boards. That line kind of got away from me. It's easy enough to fix. There we go. Now I'm going to take some of my mud and we're going to put in the ring. This has a ring for the door pull or the gate. I guess this is actually the gate. So I just pull this into the wet paint of the door. Again, this is my mud, the ultramarine blue plus alizarin crimson plus a little bit of liquid is mixed in to make it thinner. Now I take a little bit of ultramarine blue with white in it and this just kind of highlights my my gate pool. And there we go. That's our Santa Fe door. I'm going to highlight that just a little bit more. And there we are. So I appreciate you following my YouTube channel. Please feel free to subscribe and you'll get an email every time I post a new video. Also, please follow my blog. The address is on the final frame of the video as well as in the description below. I show the step-by-step -step process of this painting as well as others that I do. And thank you again. I really appreciate you and have a wonderful day and happy painting.